Now, let me take you to the Ashanti region, where the Inspector General of Police has assured a family of a couple who died under bizarre circumstances at Macro near Ebuakwa in Kumase of the best of investigations. George Ekufu Dampari, who spoke to the mother of the late Ernestina Jackson on phone to commiserate with the family, also assured the family of thorough investigations to get, the bot to, get to the bottom of the matter. The assurance comes as police at Ebuakwa look into circumstances that led Samuel Jackson to keep his wife's body uh, in their flat for several months. On him in terror of our security desk as more. The body of Samuel Jackson was also discovered by police in the family's bathroom, sitting on the toilet, while their two teenage children were also rescued in an unconscious state. The IGP's call comes as the Ashanti Regional Police Commander, DCOP Afo Bwachi Yadom, joined by some divisional and district commanders, visited the couple's two traumatized children who remain on admission at the Buakwa Polyclinic. Until Wednesday, police sources said it has been difficult connecting with families of the deceased. But the family of Mrs. Jackson on Wednesday reached out to the children of the deceased following the airing of the story on Joy News. An emotionally distraught Madam Lydia Boache Benson, mother of Ernestina Jackson, explained how her daughter disowned the family. Is that how to pay me back? I am distressed. You promised to help the family whilst I was seeing you off at the airport. Is that how you repay me? I single-handedly sponsored your trip abroad. Frederick upon Burton, an in-law of Ernestina, is familiar with happenings in the family. Around 2000 and 2013, right? So they used to come to our place at Aumasu. And then one day, the Ernestina came with Jackson to visit their parents. So when they left, the next morning, she just called and told them that Henceforth, nobody should consider them as part of the family. And that was all. So we lost contact with them, but we had an information that they were staying somewhere around the Buakwa. And that was all. From Kumasi, for Joy News, Oyemi Teria reporting. Let us go to Ohimeng Teria, who joins us uh, on Zoom with more on this bizarre incident. Ohimeng, what more do we know? Thank you, uh, Kojo. Uh, as of now, the children are responding to treatment at the Ebola Polyclinic. I just got off the phone with the medical superintendent, uh, who tells me they are doing very well. Uh, at first, they had difficulty in eating. Uh, but as we speak, they are able to eat, and this has uh, actually, uh, you know, made the medical team taking care of them uh, very, very happy because they say that because they were brought in very weak and dehydrated, having spent several months and weeks without food and water, uh, once they are able to respond to treatment uh, and also by eating, is something that, you know, makes them happy. I can also say that a lot is happening uh, as far as these uh, uh, children are concerned. The uh, Ghana uh, Psychological Association uh, has also uh, reached out uh, to them, uh, promising to offer psychosocial support uh, to the children who find it difficult uh, to speak. Uh, so the Ghana Psychological Association team uh, have gotten in touch with the medical staff at the Boca Polyclinic and they'll be moving in today uh, to provide that assistance. You, if you recall, 
the medical superintendent for Wilco Polyclinic, Dr. Mensa Manye, has suggested that uh, the children, because they spent several uh, weeks with the decomposing bodies of their parents, then they will need some psychotherapy support uh, because uh, you know they, they can't even cope uh, with the, they, they can't cope with the situation and they've had a uh, speech uh, difficulties and all that. So the announcement by the Ghana Psychological Association that they want to offer some support uh, to the children has come at the right time, and the medical team is very 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 happy uh, upon receipt of this news. Okay, all right. Uh, so we don't know, the kids have not been able to say anything as of yet, right? For now, the elders among them, the 13-year-old boy, uh, has that so much speech difficulty. It's only the 11-year-old boy uh, who managed, for instance, to assist a police by providing the password to their father's phone and also the password uh, to some gadgets in the house. Uh, so police say it is too early because for them, they are looking at, you know, making sure the children get better treatment. And after this, they could be of help to police investigation by providing details uh, to help them connect the dots, especially in the efforts to unravel how the, 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 the couple died. And also, they also want to bank their hope also on autopsy uh, the autopsy it is not clear uh, when the, the post-mortem will be conducted uh, but according to police they hope that once what well, first the family of the the late uh, mrs ernestina jackson has come up and also giving some support to the police they also expect uh, that of the man mr uh, uh, samuel jackson uh, to also report and also assist police so they can fix a date for post-mortem to be conducted uh, on the, uh, the the disease. Uh, mm -hmm. So for now, police hope that, yes, getting information from the children and also getting to know the cause of death uh, through autopsy will go a long way uh, to push them in their investigations.